Noam Chomsky is a prominent figure in the fields of linguistics and philosophy. He was born on December 7, 1920 A, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Chomsky's parents were Jewish immigrants from Eastern Europe. Chomsky began his academic career at the University of Pennsylvania, where he received his undergraduate degree in linguistics. He later went on to receive his PhD from the University of Pennsylvania as well. In 1955, Chomsky published his first book, Syntactic Structures, which revolutionized the field of linguistics. Chomsky's theory of generative grammar proposed that language is innate and that humans are born with an inherent ability to learn language. This theory challenged traditional behaviorist theories that suggested language was learned through conditioning and reinforcement. Chomsky's work has had a significant impact on both linguistics and cognitive psychology. In addition to his contributions to linguistics, Chomsky is also known for his political activism and social commentary. He has been an outspoken critic of US foreign policy and imperialism for decades. His critiques have focused on issues such as human rights abuses, war crimes, and economic inequality. Throughout his career, Chomsky has authored over 100 books on a wide range of topics. His most notable works include Manufacturing Consent, Hegemony, or Survival, and Requiem for the American Dream. Many consider him to be one of the most important public intellectuals alive today. Despite criticisms from some quarters for what they see as extreme left-wing politics or not being sufficiently critical towards certain regimes e.g. those led by Fidel Castro, Chomsky remains widely respected within academic circles. One of the most notable contributions Noam Chomsky has made to linguistics is his theory of generative grammar, which proposes that language is innate and that humans are born with an inherent ability to learn language. This theory challenged traditional behaviorist theories that suggested language was learned through conditioning and reinforcement. Chomsky's work on generative grammar influenced the field of cognitive psychology as it suggested that the human mind has a specific capacity for language acquisition. This idea led to further research on the relationship between language and cognition, including studies on how children develop their first languages. Beyond his contributions to linguistics, Chomsky also became known for his political activism and social commentary. He has been an outspoken critic of US foreign policy and imperialism for decades. His critiques have focused on issues such as human rights abuses, war crimes and economic inequality. Chomsky's political activism began in the 1960s during the Vietnam War when he became involved in anti-war protests. He also played a significant role in exposing US involvement in Central America during the 1980s. Chomsky's critiques often center around his belief that powerful institutions use propaganda to control public opinion and maintain their power structures. He argues that media outlets are influenced by corporate interests and governments seeking to suppress dissenting viewpoints. In addition to his political activism, Chomsky has written extensively on topics such as philosophy, psychology, cognitive science, computer science, mathematics, education policy reform movements like Montessori education and anarchism which he identifies with. His book Manufacturing Consent, co-written with Edward S. Herman in 1988 is considered one of his most influential works outside of linguistics as it examines how mass media can be used by powerful interest groups like corporations or governments to manufacture consent among citizens by controlling information flow. Another notable work is Hegemony or Survival, America's Quest for Global Dominance, published in 2003 where he argues against US interventionism abroad after 9-11 attacks. In recent years, Chomsky's focus shifted towards climate change issues, highlighting how they could lead us towards global disaster if not addressed adequately worldwide. His latest book, Climate Crisis and the Global Green New Deal, co-authored with Robert Pollan, discusses a comprehensive plan aiming at achieving zero emissions worldwide by mid-century while creating millions of jobs. Despite criticisms from some quarters for what they see as extreme left-wing politics or not being sufficiently critical towards certain regimes, e.g. those led by Fidel Castro, Chomsky remains widely respected within academic circles because he always draws upon extensive research before making any claims about any topic at hand. In conclusion, Noam Chomsky's contributions extend far beyond just being one of today's most important public intellectuals alive, but also into changing our understanding about how we learn languages innately from birth itself. Moreover, highlighting issues related to socio-political power structures through critical analyses based upon extensive research which have been crucially influential across various disciplines worldwide wide over the last few decades till date.